Hi First Class, this is your Small World tutorial for Wednesday the 10th of February. Um, so this is a story that we we could have done last Monday, but I figured that with, or last Wednesday, but I figured with you doing the um, story of St. Bridget that we would kind of put it on the back burner for a minute and, and, and come back to it again soon. So this is today's lesson. It's the Children of Lear. It's another story from Irish uh, folklore, um, Irish um, Irish mythology. Um, and what do I mean by folklore and mythology? It's a story that we know is not true because it has magic and it has, you know, uh, mad stuff happening in it. But uh, we tell it because it was told by people in Ireland, um, hundreds, maybe even some of these stories are told thousands of years ago. So this is a, a kind of a medieval story, um, a, a story from when, when castles were being built and when, when things like that were happening. And the reason why stories like this have so much magic in them is because people back then didn't know how to explain the world. And they often use magic to explain these things. Um, so you have things like wizards and you have witches and you have people being turned into swans and you have stuff like that because people believe that that kind of stuff might be possible back then. Um, this one has also got um, a bit of a bit of religion in it as well. So this story is kind of a religion story as well. Uh, like the Bridget story, um, these stories have... Um, have religion in them because religion became very important in Ireland and people uh, loved uh, people people started to hear about God and about Jesus and so these stories have religion in them too so let's take a look at the children of Lear if you remember we actually told this story a while back and um, in class so let's have a little look first of all at the new words in the children of Lear castle and watch out for that one because it's got a silent t in it Forest, married, spell, nasty, beautiful, human, priest, and blessed. So let's go through those words. Castle, I think you guys know what a castle is. It's a big, huge stone building that was made for keeping a lot of important people safe inside because it was made with lots of stone and it was hard to break. Forest. Of course, just a, a, a group of trees, a, a large group of trees. Married, when two people get married um, and they are um, a husband and wife or um, or husband and husband or wife and wife um, nowadays. Um, spell, like a magical spell um, where you use magic to cast a spell on things. Um, nasty, or really horrible, really bad, really nasty beautiful something that looks very nice human what we all are human beings um people humans priest is a you know a person of god or a holy person other other religions uh, have priests as well um, and blessed when something is well it says ble i say blessed but it also could be uh, blessed and um, if a priest can can bless things like uh, holy water is just regular water until the priest blesses it and then it is blessed or blessed water and uh, so let's go through the story then and um, let's take a look at part if i can zoom in here yes uh, so part one okay a long time ago there lived a king called lear he had a big castle in the middle of a forest he lived there with his children fanula the girl a aid the boy, Fiacra, another boy, and Khan, another boy, like Khan Conin from uh, from Bungabor. Their ch their mother died when the children were very young. Okay, part two. And remember, like uh, like the last time we told a story, you have to uh, draw in some missing pictures. Lear met a lady called Aoife, and they got married. Aoife was not very nice. She did not like the children. Aoife did not want the children to live in the castle. She came with, up with a very nasty, there's that word from above, nasty plan to get rid of them. Aoife smiled to herself. 
The children loved swimming in Lake Derevara. One day, Aoife came along and put a spell on the children. She turned them into four beautiful swans. So there you have the children and turn into swans. Okay, so let's take a look at part five. Aoife told the children that they would be swans for 900 years. That's a long time, 900 years. The children were very sad. They could only be turned back into humans when they heard the ringing of a church bell. Okay, so there we have a church bell. Lear did not know what Aoife had done. He went to the lake to look for his children, but he saw only four beautiful swans. One of the swans spoke. She told Lear that Aoife had put a spell on them. Lear sent Aoife away. He went to the lake every day until he died. So he went to visit them every day until he died. But remember, the swans are uh, are cursed to, to be beautiful swans for 900 years. Okay, So he might have seen them every day until he died. But a human doesn't live for nine hundred years, so he didn't see he didn't see them for long. One day, the swans heard the sound of a church bell. They turned back into humans again, but they were very, very old. I mean, think about it; they were over nine hundred years old. They saw a priest, and told him their story. He blessed them just before they died. So there's the priest blessing, the uh, the brothers and sisters. So you've got Fanula, um, I'm going to guess that that's Fanula over there. You've got Aed, Fiacre, and Khan. Okay, so that is the story of the Children of Lear. It's quite a sad story, but uh, it's also a very lovely story. And uh, if you like, after, I'm going to send you guys a video of the story of the Salmon of Knowledge, and you can draw a picture for that if you like as well. But I understand it's a lot of extra stories. I love the story of the Salmon of Knowledge because I think it's a really cool story. I've read it to you in class before as well. But um, I think the story of the Salmon of Knowledge is especially cool because I live right now. Um, I'm not from Meath, but I live in Meath, close to the River Boyne. And, um, <clears throat> pardon me, I can I can go for walks where, uh, where the Salmon of Knowledge would have taken place. So best of luck with that guys and um, i'll send you the link for the salmon of knowledge you can uh, watch that and draw a picture of it if you like uh, if not no problem at all so best of luck with it guys slant it was garmagul